we're we're very fortunate, as you all know, to have Swami Asheshanandaji here with us. For anyone who may not know, he's the leader of the Vedana Society of Portland and has been working in this country since 1947. He's the only disciple of the Holy Mother in this country and one of maybe three or four in the world. So we're very fortunate to have him here tonight. And he's been with us since last Friday. We've all been enjoying his holy company and we're looking forward to tonight's lecture very much. So I'll leave it to Swamiji now to give his talk on the Bhagavad Gita. I shall start with the prayer. Jang Brahma Varunanda Rudra Marutaha Stunanti Dibbai Stabai Bedoi Sangha Padakrama Upanishadoi Gayanti Jang Samugaha Dhyana Bustita Tadgate Namanusha Pashanti Jang Yoginaha Jasyantam Navidho Shura Shuragana Devaya Tashmai Namaha Our salutations to him who is the truth of life and existence and whom the sages call by various names. Our salutations to him, whom the devotees meditate in the shrine of their hearts and realize his ineffable presence in their deepest contemplation. May he illumine our understanding and prompt our minds to the path of truth and righteousness. May he reveal himself unto our souls and dispel the gloom of illusion, fear, doubt and darkness. Oh, peace, peace, peace. Peace be unto us, peace be unto all mankind. Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari Om, Tatsat. I have said last Sunday that I do not come here to, in the role of a speaker. I come here in the role of a pilgrim. This center brings to my consciousness the memory of Swami Vividishananda. We were very good friends. We sat together at the feet of Swami Brahmananda. It is Swami Brahmananda who inspired us to live a life of renunciation and strive towards realization of God. Now the our subject is a message of the Gita. What is the central message of the Gita? Dr. Radha Kishan, in his uh, Indian philosophy, says uh, the central message of the Gita is theism. But Shankaracharya does not accept theism to the central message of the Bhagavad Gita. The reason is, if you accept theism, then you are to think in terms of distinction between man and God, between creature and creator. <coughs> Swami Turiyananda read in one of the writings of Swami, uh, of Shankaracharya, Jivan Mukti Shuka Heta Ve Nati Shangshara Kammai. We have come here to attain called liberation in this very life. But theism speaks of post mortem liberation, post mortem emancipation. You see. Uh, so that is the reason why uh, if we think theism to be the goal, then we have to think of an avatar to be a savior, a redeemer. Is Sri Ramakrishna a redeemer? Is Sri Ramakrishna a savior? If you think Sri Ramakrishna as a savior or a redeemer, you have to think of called the original sin. Because redeemer or savior is associated with theology of St. Augustine and St. Paul. 
original sin. Therefore, uh, we find the, uh, that the doctrine of Avatar did not come in the age of the Upanishads. It came in the age of the Smriti, in the age of uh, called the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, so if we are to think of the avatar, means God coming to history as a man, as we find in the fourth chapter of the Gita. Jada jada hi dharmasya glani bhavati bharata. From the Indian point of view, Eastern point of view, avatar comes to reinforce tattvamushi. Avatar comes to tell that we have hypnotized ourselves into thinking that we are lonely and lost. We have to deep hypnotize ourselves and to think that we are divine. And that is what Swami Vivekananda preached. You see. He divinities on earth. It's a sin to call a man sinner. So here when we, uh, you, uh, you think of uh, Dr. Radhakishan or Sri Aurobindo uh, speaking of theism to be the chief theme of Bhagavad Gita, the reason is this, if you read in the fifth chapter of the Gita, there is one verse, Mamai Bangsha Jiva Loke Jiva Bhuta Shanatana. Individual soul are parts of the universal soul. But Shankara, if you read Shankara's commentary, you will find Angsha Eva, Jato Eva. That means you are part, apparently you are part. You see. So the, there comes the, uh, called the, uh, the Jivatta. Jivatta comes on account of uh, two theories, you see. One theory is called Bimba Pratibimba Bada, reflection theory. The Atman reflects on began, individual Vigyana Mekosha, then uh, I am an in, uh, I'm an enjoyer, or I'm an agent. And then if you think that you are an agent and enjoy, yeah, you, are, you have to call karma follow. You will enjoy the fruits of your action. But Bhagavad Gita's message is Gyanagni Sarva Karmani Kuruja. You have to ignite the fire of knowledge, fire of Atma Gyana, and burn into ashes all your karmas. Uh, uh, and so we, you find that to, in order to understand Bhagavad Gita, yeah, you will have to practice called spiritual discipline. There are two paths. One is called the Bhakti path. In Bhakti path, you have to establish a relationship with the, with the personal aspect of God. But in Jnana path, that is called the uh, affirmative way. But in Jnana path, you, you, you follow the negative way. What is the negative? That I am not the body, I am not the senses, I am not the mind, I am not the intellect, I am not the ego. Who I am? I am that I am. I am the ocean of unbounded consciousness, eternal freedom and unceasing joy. So it reminds me of uh, one instance, you see, Swami Shardhananda, you see, uh, had a stroke uh, in August, 6th of August in 1927. Uh, I was meditating. He, he could not speak. His voice left, you see. But in the Udbodhan shrine, uh, uh, the, the one verse from the Bhagavad Gita appeared. Nasatu viddhate bhava, na bhavo viddhate shataha, ubhayoropi drishtanta stanayo tattadarshibi. That which exists will never become non-existent. That which is non-existent will become will never become existent. This distinction become existence and non-existence can be realized only by tattvavit, by an illumined soul. So now, existential philosopher of the West, the French philosopher, they interpret existence connected with this phenomenal universe. Phenomenal universe connected with your apparent self. But Shankaracharya, when he uses existence, he is not connecting existence with Nama Rupa, with name and form. 
is connected, existing to the essence. Now, the essence of man, essence of God, essence of this universe is Nirguna Brahman. And, and this realization comes to a person who has attained Nirvikalpa Samadhi. And that is the reason why Sri Ramakrishna had the experience of Shavikalpa Samadhi and uh, 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 a vision of the Divine Mother. But when he was undergoing sadhana under Tutapuri, you see, uh, 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 Sri Ramakrishna said to Tutapuri, Tutapuri follow the negative method, negative method, neti neti, you see, as Shankaracharya says in his uh, Nidbana Shakrakam. Ano mano buddhang karu chitta ninaham na cha srota jive na cha gyana nitre chidhananda rupa shivoham shivoham. So the, the West has accepted the dualistic philosophy. The last Sunday I spoke that on account of uh, two influences, the Greek influences has given the Western man called rationalism. What is rationalism? Subject and object must be different. And now the another stream of thought has contributed, and, and that stream is called, called Hebrew thought, uh, or Jewish thought. When you think of the Jewish thought, you will always think that, that, that man is distinct from God. Now, the other day, um, one person, um, one devotee, or friend, you can say, is telling that the, in Jewish marriage, the contact is 99 years. The, the contact. The, <laughs> why? Not 100 years. And then hundred years only God, hundred years. Yeah. So ninety-nine years. That means you cannot take the position of God. But, but it is true we cannot take the position of God. But Shankaracharya is telling but God likes that his devotees should be intellectual devotees. And not only intellectual, enlightened devotees. So intellectual devotees will see or devotional type of devotees will make a distinction, but not enlightened devotees. Enlightened devotees, uh, in Bhagavad Gita, there you will find Chutur Vida Bajante Mam. Shukritena. They are very fortunate with Chutur Vida. Four types of people. What they for? Artha Jidgasu Artharti Gyani Chabharatarsha. Artha means one is afflicted. Is afflicted. Uh, even an agnostic, when he's afflicted, what, what will say? Uh, his prayer will be, O oh Lord, no, O oh God, if there is a God, save my soul, if there is a soul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's very honest and sincere, if there, because he's not sure. But at least he, he, he say, if there is, therefore. So intellectual conviction creates this kind of agnosticism. So it, uh, so a devotee, a devotee, he is called Artha, who is afflicted with some pain, uh, with some um, problem, with some difficulty, you see. But what happens when his problem is over, he may forget God. Jigashu inquirer, light, more light, you see. Uh, light, light, more light. He, he also, when uh, he gets uh, some intellectual satisfaction, then he, he may also forget. Orthati, a person has no job, he prays and afterwards he gets a job, he becomes satisfied. Uh, but real satisfaction will come when uh, we realize God as our Atman. Uh, see no difference, sir. see no distinction, because distinction and difference will create fear. Doitad bhayam bhavati. So that is the message which Swami Vivekananda came to give to the West. And again, we are not denying personal God. We, we only take explaining personal God. You see. Man travels from truth to truth and never from error to truth. Even in Christian faith there, there is dualism. When uh, Christ says, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The, the, the extra cosmic God, the, you see, Dux ex, ex machina. The world is a machine, and there is uh, uh, the, the manufacturer machine, or who conceived about the machine. You see, the, then 
there is uh, also this is called extra cosmic, intra cosmic Ramanuja. It is Muddha, you will find. Uh, Sri Ramakrishna saw the Dio Buddha Dasushmati. When you identify their body, you, uh, God is separate from you. You identify with your individual soul, you are a part, uh, and God is the whole, like wave and the ocean. Mamoyi Bangsha, when Shankaracharya is interpreting, Angsha Eva, that means when you are thinking of your intimate relationship of part and whole, then you think God is called a transcendent as well as immanent. But if you have attained called Nirvikalpa Samadhi, you have transcended time, space and causation, you see, uh, then there will not be the slightest distinction, because pure consciousness is indivisible. And that is the reason why Tattamashid, Tattamashid, uh, you, uh, we, we call the Mahabhakya. Mahabhakya uh, in the uh, Upanishads, uh, especially the four, uh, the Vedas, Aham uh, Brahmashmi, Tattamashi. Aham Brahmashmi it is in Jajur Veda, Tattamashi it is in Chandagya, Ayamatma Brahman and Pragyanam Brahman. Now, Ramanuja uses. Uh, 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 grammatical way of uh, uh, explaining and tasya tamoshi. That means Ramanuja, yeah, uh, his philosophy uh, you call qualified monistic philosophy and therefore part and the whole. Yeah, that Mamai Bangsha Ramanuja says that uh, he, God is eminent as well as transcendent. An individual soul called Onu. Onujual soul means finite. But Shankara, uh, his authority is called the Shruti, or called the Upanishads. Yeah, he quotes uh, the Shruti, especially Upanishads. Mahantam bhivumatmanam matva dhiro na sochati. Therefore, you have make a distinction between apparent self and the real self. Apparent self belongs to time, space and causation, but the real self is the witness consciousness. Although uh, Shankara is indebted to Kopila, Kopilo, it is uh, Kopilo, uh, the, the, the father of Shanka philosophy. Pythagoras went to India to study this, uh, uh, this philosophy, Shanka philosophy, philosophy of the number, you see. There you find the distinction between Purusha and Prakriti, you see. When Einstein says that science is blind without religion, he is uh, uh, using exactly what Shanka philosophy says. The, the Prakriti has the power of movement or locomotion, you see. But Prakriti is not conscious. The, so science uh, is now, especially quantum theory is speaking about consciousness, you see. And also uh, uh, the scientist, uh, 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 Newtonian uh, physicist used to say a, a scientist is a spectator, but, but quantum theory does not accept it. We are participator. What do we know of this world is X plus mind. What we know about yourself is also y, y plus mind. So as long as you are on the intellectual plane of consciousness, you are I identifying yourself with the called the Bhakti Chaitanya, thought waves of the mind. But when you transcend Turiya, that is the method then is uh, of the, the Mandukka Upanishad, Mandukka Karika of Gaurapada, uh, is a space that uh, law of causation, law of causality, is relative truth. Einstein accepted la law of time and space to be relative, but Einstein did not accept. Uh, Heisenberg, Heisenberg uh, uh, tried to uh, uh, influence him, but he, he, he did not accept it. So whatever it may be, uh, it is then Madhamiko Karika of uh, Nagarjuna. Uh, first uh, challenges the, the law of uh, position. And in, in Madhavika, uh, some scholars say Gaurapada was in, is indebted to, um, to uh, uh, Nagarjuna. So somebody asked that question. The Nagarjunas, um, they call Shunnata. Shunnata uh, means emptiness or void. Uh, I will interpret uh, Nagarjuna Shunnata is the same as identification with Nirguna Brahman. 
you cannot identify, identify with the Shaguna Brahma or personal God. Clay mouse can never become one with clay elephant, you see. Uh, but reduce clay mouse and clay elephant to the clay, uh, then there is no distinction, you see. Now, when I, uh, therefore you find, you see, that this is, the, the West has accepted theism, that means the Purinama Bala, means God is the ultimate cause. Where do you find that? You find in the book of Genesis, that there will be light and there was light, you see. Therefore, he, he is called the unmoved mover, that is Aristotle, Arish unmoved mover. But Shankara, Shankara uh, 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 is, uh, uh, is refuting unmoved mover. He, he, he is using the example of called Rajji uh, If there is darkness, you see, I, I may say there may be some kind of rope. I may say, I, I may think that. Uh, it is my imagination, it is projection. It's super. Similarly, this universe, universe of multiplicity, universe of changefulness, has the background. Uh, and intellect has not the power to enter into the heart of reality. Intellect can comprehend or understand or grasp only the nam or rupa, name and form, not the essence. And so in order to uh, realize the, the background consciousness behind the universe, I have to transcend my psychophysical being and realize my infinite being, you see. Yeah. So when Swami Vivekananda says he divinities or not, he is quoting the, the, from the from the seers of the Upanishads. You see, Shottam, especially the, the Upanishad called Tachchari Upanishad, Shottam Gyanam Anantam Brahma. So you are infinite truth, infinite beauty, infinite goodness, infinite life. But why are you afraid of death? You are afraid of death because you are attached to the body. Why you have a problem? Because you are attached to the mind. Why you see a, a difference? You are attached to your ego. And that is why Sri Ramakrishna used to say, uh, when a student asked him, when shall I be free? He said that uh, uh, you have to destroy the ego. All troubles will cease when ego disappears. Ego can be compared to an uninvited guest, you see. <laughs> Comes late, want attention. When you say, when are you going home? He does not answer. <laughs> Why? Because ego uh, comes into existence in the dream state. But when dream state disappears and the state of enlightenment comes, Atman, it is finitization of the infinite self produces the ego consciousness. That is what you find in Patanjali or from Avidya. There is no, you see, the, uh, in theological uh, spectrum of the West, sin and salvation. These are two uh, called keywords. But Indian tradition or Eastern tradition, Shankshara and Nirvana. Shankshara. Shank, what is Shankshara? Means you are trying to perpetuate your ego. When you try to perpetuate your abhidya, then there is desire. Then some desires you fulfill, all your desires are not fulfilled. And it is desire, karma. Then come karma. And it, therefore it is like a wheel. Buddhism also accepts that. In one of the councils, this was rejected. They are called the, the the uh, law of rebirth or law of reincarnation. But you, you, you may say, Swami, why, why do you not preach Ram, uh, uh, reincarnation? Because it, reincarnation is a consolation prize. Okay. It is something like you have to go uh, 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 to catch a bus or a train uh, and you have a, a little late, you see, and you say, better luck next time. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I do not preach reincarnation. It comes under aparavidya. It is lower knowledge. Parabidya. Parabidya is Jivan Mukti. Yeah. Uh, that starts my imagination. That also uh, brings to my consciousness. There are persons who, who have realized it. You see. 
স্বামী তুরি আনন্দ স্বামী শারদানন্দ উইজিয়াম স্বামী শারদানন্দ আই নেভার স হিম রাফুল্ড হাউ সামি আস দ্যাট কোয়েশ্চেন হাউ টু গেইন কামনেস অফ মাইন্ড বি লুক ইন কামনেস অফ মাইন্ড আই হ্যাভ সিড ইন স্বামী শারদানন্দ সো টেক ফর এক্সাম্পল ইউ সি ইন্ডিয়া ওয়াজ আন্ডার দি সোয়ে অফ দি ব্রিটিশ গভর্নমেন্ট দেন দি গভর্নর লর্ড মাইকেল কার মাইকেল রোড দ্যাট দিস কলড রেভলিউশনারি মুভমেন্ট ইউ সি দি ব্রেইন অফ দি রেভলিউশন স্বামী বিবেকানন্দ ইউ সি ইন ওয়ান হার স্পিচেস হে মেনশন দ্যাট স্বামী শারদানন্দ said this is not true although some persons like shami pragyanand then asmar pragyanand they had friends who uh, who joined the called revolution but but when they joined the monastery they, and became the disciples of holy mother they, they gave up politics and that is the reason here hands of politics now next election is coming you see if somebody is ask me swami who who shall i vote <laughs> that is your business and our members is is came the uh, bush the uh, vice president bush came to uh, portland that to portland and he was going to speak and then one person he has some kind of thing uh, you see uh, uh, vote for the, this person you know so that is your business uh, now if i am to say vote for your atman <laughs> <laughs> and also don't give up <laughs> that means your choice freedom of choice and when you have that freedom of choice yeah, yeah, and also you uh, experience the truth of god yeah, in a in an exalted state of consciousness yeah uh, all your questions will be answered all your doubts will be cleared therefore we find uh, along with the called the shruti vakya called tattamashi you see uh, we find in the uh, uh, vedic i mean the uh, in the age of bhagavad gita there came the avatar avatar again can be realized in three aspects the human aspect the divine aspect and the transcendental aspect the human aspect avatar is an ideal man he is the leader of the soul in a human aspect we find that he he, he emphasizes renunciation that is what sri ramakrishna said re- reading bhagavad gita a uh, few times what do you think tagi 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 you have to renounce what do you renounce then you renounce your self identification with your fugitive self for what reason to realize your true self which is timeless which is deathless which is immortal so therefore immortality is the theme we were we find in the, the in the meditation verse of bhagavad gita written by a great um, advaitin called madhusudan saraswati there he says um, sarbo punishado gabo dugdha gopalanandana partho vatsa sudhir bhukta dugdham gitam mrtam mahat so all the upanishads are the cows upanishad is like cows it is a kind of metaphorical we are talking they are the cows সর্বোপরি দুগ্ধ গোপালনন্দর ইট ইস কৃষ্ণ হু হ্যাজ মিল কাউস সুধীর ভোক্তা দি এনজয়ার অফ দি মিল্ক ইজ ডিসক্রিমিনেটিং সোলস এন্ড হোয়াট ইজ দ্যাট দুগ্ধ এজ মিল্ক নারিশেস দে 
our physical body. Similarly, the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita will encourage us to strive towards the more Dukdham, Gita Amrita. Gita is the Amrita. Amrita. Now, if I am to uh, say, um, the, uh, the theological Christians have, uh, have accepted not immortality, but resurrection. This is the gift of called Saint Paul. Saint Paul. Saint Paul, uh, he, he will have a new body, and also the soul will travel to heaven, or call it Brahma Loka. But Shankara, Shankara, you see, there, there, there was there, there, there some day was talking, the little boy was asked, you see, how to find God. And the, somebody answered, go south. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that will not work. Don't go, <laughs> don't go south. Don't go north. Don't go east. Don't go anywhere. Go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> that means, uh, when he said, uh, don't go, it means that realize, uh, realize your true shurupa, your true nature, which is, all-pervading consciousness, which has the property of enlightenment. Uh, you need not to beg or borrow from any person, you see. But in need of Samadhi, you will realize it. And that is the, 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 the meaning um, of the word, the intellectual plane of consciousness we get in the knowledge of the appearance. And therefore the Rishi is talking, you have covered the face of truth with a golden disc. I am a passionate lover of truth, you see. Please remove that disc, so that I may realize the truth behind the golden disc and realize also oneness in essence between the subject and the object, between the individual soul and the universal soul. So, hiranmayena patrena shatta shavidam mukham. Now I will have to say one thing, that if you read the book of Genesis, you find that this world was created, you see. Uh, but the scientists are not accepting the theory of creation, they are accepting theory of evolution, you see. Last Sunday I mentioned that uh, the decision of the Supreme Court, that in theological class you can uh, 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 emphasize creation, but in science class you have to uh, uh, teach uh, called evolution. But Shankara will say, both, either creation or evolution, both will come under a paravidya. Paravidya means the, the universe has not come into existence. It, it is, uh, in the dream state, the universe is real. When you wake up, you find uh, uh, behind the universe, you will realize called Guna Brahman, and behind your psychophysical be being, you will also realize Atman. Atman and Brahman are identical. Swami Vivekananda, he was gasping for breath. Uh, we had to call asthma, trouble of asthma in, in Devghar. But from within, uh, 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 his inner voice was repeating, Ekam abadditiyam Brahma nihonana I have realized Brahman uh, is one without a second, uh, which is the uh, 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 ground of existence according to Master Eckhart, well, but it is called the essence, the essence. Uh, that is why Nasutu Vidyote Bhava, that I was talking, uh, try to realize the essence. The, your, the essence of your psychophysical bees in Atman, an essence of the universe is uh, Nidguna Brahman. Uh, then you may say, uh, 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 Avatar then, Avatar is the bridge, is the bridge between man and God. First. He is the Guru, and the relationship of the Guru and the disciple is established through a mantra, a sacred mantra. Uh, and, the, and this relationship, this relationship is forced by God, because Satchidananda is the Guru, you see. But the, uh, the concept of Ishta is the gift of the Tantra Shastra. When you uh, read the the Vedanta Shastra, it is called the Siddhanta Shastra. Siddhanta Shastra means it is the conclusion. A man travels from truth to truth and never from error to truth. Therefore, in Christian faith also, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. This is dualistic philosophy. Then, I am the vine, you are the branches. 
this is I call uh, qualified non dualistic philosophy. But when Christ said, I and my father are one, it is pure Advaita. No distinction between Tattamushi and Aham uh, 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 or I and my father one. Similarly, Sri Ramakrishna also, you see, um, uh, cut the form of the mother and his mind soared to the transcendental beyond and he lost all outward consciousness, but he was filled with the consciousness spirit which is infinite, which is universal, which is timeless, which is causeless. So this realization, realization of Advaita is not a philosophy. Advaita is an experience. And, and that is why Swami Vivekananda, you see, uh, 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 went to his master, you see. Uh, you have done so many things to so many people on 1st of January. Swamiji was not there, you see. He awakened the spiritual consciousness, Chaitanya Hok, Grish Chandra Ghosh, Ram Chandra Datta, the Aim, and uh, many others. But Swamiji uh, uh, was uh, sleeping because he he had to uh, attend to the master, so all the direct disciples, only Swami Sharadananda and uh, Swami Adbhutananda, they were uh, cleaning up the room, uh, doing this service. Yeah. Then Swami Vivekananda uh, said, you have done uh, so many things to the devotees who have done to me, then what do you want? Then I want Nidpikal Prasamadhi. Yeah. Then Sri Ramakrishna said, um, there is domestic trouble, you plus solve that problem. But how long I shall wait? How long? You see. Then uh, Sri Ramakrishna went to Samadhi, tomorrow we will have. So in this connection, this relationship, uh, somebody asked me this question, this, uh, Swami, did Holy Mother talk to you? Uh, if he has not talked, how can he uh, make a disciple? <laughs> Not my imagination. So this, she talked in such a way uh, that I will never forget that talk. <laughs> but to sadhana is necessary. This relationship, you see, we, we all we, uh, uh, believe that Sri Ramakrishna is an avatar, the Holy Mother also is an avatar, and and they have come uh, to awaken our spiritual consciousness. Sri Ramakrishna is the method. And Holy Mother is the symbol of grace. You see, uh, th therefore, um, you find re renunciation is very important as a method. What do you renounce then? You renounce selfishness. And what do you gain when you gain? You gain uh, wisdom. You see, uh, what is that wisdom? Wisdom is knowledge of your true self, which is infinite, which is immortal which is ever free and never bound. That is why Swami Vivekananda used to say, that from bonds be free, from dreams awake, know the truth, thou art he. Yeah. See, tattamushi, this is exactly the tattamushi. So here we, we find that Bhagavad Gita also, uh, uh, Arjuna went to Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna did not answer. When he says the Shishya Steham Shadimang Kang Prapannam, you see, in the West you find the, the it is the church has taken the position of the Guru. But the East illumines so. It is not the here anything to be solved, it is in the council. Take for example in the Council of Nicaea. Council of Nicaea uh, uh, it was established, the four hundred sixty seven um, bishops all voted, uh, you see, Constantine was there. That Christ is d divine as well as human. Why is he divine? Because he says, I and my father are one. He has seen the son, has seen the father. But why he was human? Because he was tempted. And also he said, um, and it means connect with the flesh. Connect with the flesh. Uh, it means you, you have to um, harmonize flesh and spirit. But how is it possible to harmonize flesh and spirit? Flesh I call meatball. Will it last? <laughs> uh, <laughs> will it last? But spirit is everlasting. Why? It is timeless as well as causeless. And that is the reason why 
the solution of problems of life as well as death can be established or can be realized only through acceptance of immortality, not post-mortem emancipation, not thinking that our real self is, uh, goes to heaven or Brahma Loka, no, because Shankara, that is the reason why I, at first I was very fascinated by Plato and Aristotle. But uh, when I studied uh, in Benaras after the Mahasamadhi of Swami Shardananda, uh, called the Prasthanatra, uh, under a very competent teacher, Swami, Swami Jagadananda, Jag I would come prepared and ask him many questions. Uh, 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 a, a pandit, in, in our Belur Mod, there was a pandit, he used to say, if I ask any question, uh, oh, uh, he, say, he will say, how does your can't say? I can't. I will quote can't because can't through intellectual method is, is, is a thing on itself will always remain an unknown. But it is Shami Jagodananda. Thing and itself or absolute may be unknown and unknown by the intellectual process of thinking, but thing and itself will always remain firmly established in the consciousness of any human soul. And that you have to uh, uh, follow the method, and the method is you have to transcend transcend time, space and causation and realize the uh, uh, samadhi, turiya. Although turiya is not a state of consciousness, Patanjali calls it a state of consciousness, which Shankara uh, interpret uh, uh, as well as Gaurapada as the background consciousness, you see. Uh, uh, and, uh, and the definition of truth or reality, uh, uh, a, a definition of truth and reality is avadhitashtra. It is not the pragmatic value of truth, truth that yeah, if you are, ha, have uh, some kind of job, so it is, uh, so it is true. And if you do don't get a job, it is not true. Uh, <laughs> meditation does not give you any money, so meditation will be of no good. So anyway, the truth, uh, there are two types of truth. One is called Babaharika truth and another Paramartika truth. Babaharika truth, yeah, yeah, we accept for satisfying some purpose in life. But Paramartika truth we accept to realize our true soul, yeah, our true nature. Yeah. Uh, the true nature uh, uh, is divine, true nature is immortal. That is the reason every day we find, you uh, see, an obituary karma so and so has passed away. But we think that we will never pass away, we will never die. Yeah. It is a kind of intimation to immortality. But that will not be true intimation. True intimation will come through the sravano manano nididhasana. Sravano, we have to accept tasmaad guru mo vigachet. Tasmaad guru mo vigachet. So you have to go to a teacher, uh, an illumined teacher, you see. Uh, take for example Shankara, uh, had to go to Gavindapada. First he went to Gaurapada. Gaurapada says, no, I, uh, my days are done, I will leave this one. Then Shankara asked that, um, please tell me who is your most favorite disciple, I will go to him. So he said, when said on the bank of Narmada, uh, 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 Gavindapada. Uh, then he went. Then there is water coming, it was kind of flood, Shankara. Uh, uh, became like a rampart, like an embankment. Uh, then Gobindapada was in Samadhi. Yes. Then came, uh, came down to, uh, to, to a normal consciousness. Who are you? Then Shankara says uh, that is that I, I have no birth, I have no death. Siddhananda Rupa Shivoham Shivoham. I am infinite existence, infinite knowledge, infinite bliss. Uh, so the, the Ankara had uh, a kind of glimpse, but through the grace of the Guru, he was established. Similarly, Swami Vivekananda, when he had the Nidvikalpa Samadhi, um, he had no consciousness of his body. Then Swami Advaitananda, Swami Advaitananda said, Narin is dead. Now, how can Narin be dead? Uh, it is impossible. Uh, he has to do mother's work. The, then Swamiji came and they said, uh, the treasure will be in a box, the key will be in your hand, and when you have finished mother's work, I will hand over the key to you. Uh, so Swamiji was not a philosopher in the sense of uh, Plato or Aristotle. Plato is considered as the most outstanding philosopher in the West, because uh, uh, Dr. Whitehead says 
uh, all the philosophers after Plato have written footnotes to Plato. But Shankara, the, yeah, it is Shankara who uh, not only was a realized soul, but it is he who established this uh, monastic order. Although he was, uh, perhaps he was influenced by Buddha. It is Buddha who first started. Buddha Sharnam Gachami, Dharmam Sharnam Gachami, Shangham Sharnam Gachami, monastic order was started. In the West, the monastic order was called Desert Fathers. Afterwards, the Benedictine, the Benedictine laws. All the monasteries uh, followed Benedictine uh, 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 rules. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, Sh- Shankara, did not allow women to become nuns because the society was not very progressive. It is Swami Vivekananda, you see. And that is uh, Holy Mother's centenary time, the, 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 this uh, parallel organization. It is not under the uh, uh, Velurmat organization, Sarada, uh, Ramakrishna Sarada Sangha or Sarada Sangha. Uh, there uh, you find they, they, they can give initiation, they can give brahmacharya, they can give sadhanas, you see. But why? The, uh, it will be difficult for the Catholics to accept it, because Catholicism um, has accepted, what I say, supremacy of man. Because the, uh, <coughs> the one pope has mentioned uh, that uh, uh, at the time of the Mass, Christ comes in a, in a, in a male form. But Vedanta accept God as mother. In God as mother ha, ha, has no connection with matriarchal society or masculine, feminine gender. God as mother is a, is a beautiful concept. It is a called metaphorical concept. Metaphorical concept here means when Sri Ramakrishna worshipped uh, Mother Kali, uh, uh, he, uh, ka- before uh, 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 his final exit to the world, he repeated three times, Kali, Kali, Kali. Then first he had the vision of Mother Kali in, his, in, in the personal aspect. Mother Kali is the symbol of personal and impersonal God. But God the Father is always connected with dualistic philosophy, creature and creator. Well, Woodrop, Sergeant Woodrop m- mentions it in, in his book, but Tantra Shastra speaks of, of the Advaita as the goal. But it is, it is the gift of the Tantra Shastra called the worship. The uh, uh, Vedic worship was Shakama with desire, but Tantric worship is create first devotion and ultimately put Atma Jnana, Advaita Jnana. So here we find, uh, it, it reminds me of one uh, uh, incident. One time I was asked to go to Los Angeles, you see, and there was some trouble in the plane, trouble in the plane. <coughs> that exit, this exit, that gave kind of kind of warning. Then I thought with myself, suppose uh, the parachute does not open, <laughs> what will happen? Your body will be smashed, <laughs> it's like that, something I was thinking. Then all of a sudden, this, uh, the, from Chundi, uh, this Chundi, uh, that is the glory of the Divine Mother, uh, this, uh, th- that line came, Kalaratri, Maharatri, Maharatri, Chodaruna. Uh, uh, we sometimes repa- uh, repeat, you know, repeat, uh, just like a parrot, you see. But that time, I, 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 what is Kalaratri? The night of death will be called the night of destruction, you see. Kaloratri. Why? Because you are passing through Mohoratri, the night, n- night of delusion, night of infatuation, <coughs> night of uh, misunderstanding. Uh, so, so the purpose of life, when you come to Sri Ramakrishna and worship Sri Ramakrishna as the Guru and Holy Mother as the Easter, the purpose is to the grace. It is not by self-effort alone we can attain realization of God. You see, uh, grace is necessary. You see, uh, the Kaloratri, which is caused by Moratri, 
can be converted into Maharatri, night of enlightenment, a night of freedom, you see, if we worship Sri Ramakrishna as the Guru. Guru is the symbol of Nirguna Brahma. And you worship Holy Mother uh, as the Ishtu Devi, uh, or called the personal aspect of God. And that is why Swami Vivekananda uh, in, uh, one day came and said, to Holy Mother, Mother, you can create hundreds of Vivekanandas like me, but I will never find another mother like you. you see. And Swamiji uh, had a vision also in Kshir Bhavan. Uh, 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 and, uh, he was thinking that uh, had I been present, I would have resisted this uh, uh, destruction of the temple. You see. Then the Divine Mother appeared and Swamiji uh, uh, the voice of the mother said, Do you protect me or I protect you? <laughs> <laughs> then Swamiji, after so all my patriotism gone. It does not mean that he, uh, he was not patriotic, but he became called the uh, child of the mother. Uh, that is what I call, uh, he heart was not thinking only of good of India, but good of the whole world. You see. So this concept of God and mother as mother he, uh, may be a... a a new concept to the West, but this concept is filled with deep meaning and significance because it is Sri Ramakrishna worshipped God uh, as Mother Kali. That means time. You see, who is a Kali means who controls time and also who comes in the form of life as well as death. It, why? To awaken the spiritual consciousness and lead us from death to immortality. And that is the poem Shamiji uh, wrote, you see. He who dares misery love and hug the form of death, to him the mother comes. The shed of death in immortality, both these, O mother of thy grace, may thy gracious face never be torn away from me, thy child. So it is, uh, death is inevitable. But consciousness is important. And at that time, uh, we, we, we must withdraw the mind from all mundane, material and illusory things of this transitory world and think of the mantra given by the Guru and invoke the presence of the Lord who is our father, who is our mother, who is our beloved, who is our all in all, yeah. so that we may overcome the terror of death and realize the sweetness of immortality. That is the reason why we have come to Sri Ramakrishna. Uh, for what reason? To awaken our spiritual consciousness. When spiritual consciousness is awakened, we move inwardly in search of the truth. And, then, and the truth is hidden in the heart of every soul. Uh, and that is the reason why uh, we, when we meditate uh, on God in the heart center, we call the Ishta. When you meditate on God in the, call the thousand petal lotus in the head, it, it is called the Guru. The, the Guru Sthan is the head and the Ishta Sthan. Here it is means the Ishta is the Shakti, is the power of God. And through the grace, uh, Ishta is also the symbol of Karuna, symbol of grace. Uh, and so, when our sadhana purifies the mind and we long for the vision of God, that through the grace of God we transcend time, space and causation and realize uh, our true nature, which is nitta, shuddha, buddha, mukta, which is eternal, which is pure, which is enlightened and free. That is what we find when Arjuna asks this question to uh, Sri Krishna. What is the sign of an illumined soul? Although he usually called Sitapragasya Kabhasha, man of steady wisdom, then Sri Krishna uh, says, Apurjyamanam achalapratishtam samudramapa pravishanti jadvat tadvat kamajang pravishanti sarve so shanti vapnoti na kama kami vihaya kamaan jasarvan pumangs charuti nispriha nirmamo nirhankara so shanti madhigachati esha brahmistiti partha 
नैनां प्राप्त विमुच्छति सित्वावश्य मंत्र काले भी ब्रह्मनिर्बाणों में चति ऐसा ब्रह्म इसी से स्टेलिश इन दी त्रुटा ब्रह्म ब्रह्म मिस्ति पर नैनां पर वंस वो अटेंड इट ही विल नॉट फॉल बैक इनटू इग्नोरेंस इट इज इग्नोरेंस दैट क्रिएट फियर ऑफ डेथ नैनां पर वो जो सित्वावश्य एट दी इवन एट दी टाइम ऑफ डेथ ह in Shabhikalpa Samadhi and in personal aspect of God in Nirvikalpa Samadhi. And therefore the message of Bhagavad Gita according to Sri Ramakrishna is to be Vigyani. Vigyani is one who has realized the impersonal aspect of God in Nirvikalpa Samadhi and personal aspect of Shabhikalpa Samadhi and also sees God as the background consciousness of every individual soul irrespective of creed, color, nationality, race. May good be tied all. May happiness come to all. May all see the face of truth and be fortified by the armor of love, goodwill, and understanding. I have, uh, these few days I have been in your midst. It has been a, a very sweet and affectionate memory which I will never forget. And I, uh, uh, I bring to you the, the love and affection of all the devotees of the Portland Center. These two centers are closely knit, and may our close relationship be stronger and stronger as days pass, and through the grace of Sri Ramakrishna Holy Mother, we may play a significant part in living a, a true spiritual life and helping others to attain the spiritual wisdom which will create a, a bond of fellowship between the East and the West, between man and man, between <coughs> race and race. And that is the reason why I bow down in reverence to Sri Ramakrishna to give me, for allowing me the privilege to talk to you. May, may he illumine your soul and lead you kindly from darkness to light, from bondage to freedom, from intellectual understanding of metaphysical truths to enlightened knowledge of perennial philosophy of human existence. Thank you.